Welcome to our online exams, a simple and convenient way for you to complete those all-important theory elements of your course. Not only can you take the exam where and whenever you like, we can also give you your result instantly. So, no more nail-biting waits to find out if you've passed or not. In order to ensure that you get the best online exam experience, we need you to check that you have the right equipment and environment to take the test. This needs to happen before your exam, to ensure that you don't run into any unexpected connection issues on the day. First of all, you'll need a Mac or PC. Either laptop or desktop is fine. Ideally, one which is running the latest version of the operating system. PCs must be running Windows Vista or later, whereas Mac needs to be on OS 10.5, also known as Leopard, or later. Laptops are OK, but sadly, Chromebooks are not supported. Your device should have enough memory, also known as RAM, to be able to run the proctoring software. We suggest a minimum of 2 GB, but a little more would be better. We also suggest that before you start your exam session, you restart your device and close any programs that you're not using, including those that run in the background. You'll need a fully functional webcam and microphone, ideally one with HD resolution. This is how the proctor, a fancy word for invigilator, will monitor you throughout your exam. Please also note that footage from your screen and webcam is recorded for review purposes. You'll need a strong broadband connection, ideally with speeds greater than 2 megabytes per second download and 1 megabyte per second upload. If you have a fibre connection, this will be more than ample. On the day of your exam, you may want to take steps to limit what others are doing on your network. For example, if you have family members streaming TV services like Netflix or playing online games, then they will likely be consuming a lot of your bandwidth, which may cause your connection to be slow or even worse, disconnected. Before your exam day, we strongly advise that you take the time to test your equipment and environment by visiting the following page. There's also a link to this page from within the exam booking email and the reminders that we send you before your test. On exam day, you'll need to log in to LES a few minutes before your exam is due to start. You'll see a blue banner across the top of the page, with a green button saying, Go to exam. This link will become live at your start time, connecting you to the remote proctor and the setup process. The setup process can take 5 to 15 minutes to complete, depending on your readiness and how busy the proctors are. Please be patient. Any delays in starting your exam will not reduce your allotted time. The timer doesn't start until your actual exam is launched. To start your exam, you'll need to show the proctor a valid form of government-issued ID, for example, a driving license or passport. It's important that your ID includes a picture which looks like you and is the same name as that you've used to enrol on your course. If you know these things don't match for whatever reason, you should inform us before you sit your online exam. You'll need to ensure that you're in a quiet, private and well-lit room. The proctor will ask you to scan the environment with your webcam, so please make sure that any phones, training manuals, notebooks or anything else that can be used to assist you are out of reach and ideally out of the room. Once the proctor is happy that you're in a secure enough environment, they will take you to your online exam, where your allotted time will begin. During the exam, you should continue to look at your screen throughout, refraining from looking around the room. As tempting as it may be, you should avoid reading the questions aloud. This may look and sound like you're communicating with somebody else. Refrain from opening any other programs, including a new tab or browser. If you do open any other programs or screens, your exam result will be void whatever the grade. Before your exam, you should actively take steps to ensure that you are not disturbed. For example, locking the door or putting a sign up. However, if somebody does enter the room, please ask them to leave promptly and return to your exam. You should not engage in any other conversation with them. If there is a question you want to revisit later in the exam, you can simply bookmark the question using the on-screen bookmark tool. When you get to the end of the exam, you'll be given links to return to those questions. Once you've answered all of the questions, you'll be asked to submit your questions for grading. From here, you'll be taken to a screen where your exam result and grade will be displayed. In the unfortunate event that you run out of time, 
The exam player will automatically submit your questions for grading. You should therefore try to ensure that you give yourself plenty of time to answer all questions, instead of spending too much time on any one question. All exam grades are provisional until our quality team review the exam footage. Providing that there is no suspicious activity, we'll apply your grade to your live course. This can take up to seven days. Finally, if you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the support team, who will be more than happy to assist you. We hope that you found this video useful. From all of us at HFE, best of luck with the exam.